Hey guys, it's Danny. Now, summer officially kicks off later this month, so I wanted to make sure that you guys were prepared with some fresh, delicious, simple salad recipes. So I have teamed up with my friend Alicia from Mind Over Munch, and we are each sharing three simple summer salad ideas with you. That means you're gonna have six salad recipes in total. Now, Alicia shares tons of recipes and tips and tricks for living a healthy lifestyle, so let's pop over and say hello. Hello, clean and delicious foodie friends. I am Alicia from Mind Over Munch, and I am so excited to share my three fresh summer salads with you today. On my channel, you'll find recipes for a delicious strawberry and heirloom tomato salad, a fresh vegetable orzo salad, and a black chopped salad. I am not usually a salad fan, so all of these recipes are friendly for people who may not usually enjoy salads. I hope you'll come and take a look, say hello, and subscribe. Okay, great. So make sure you guys check out her channel and all of her recipes and subscribe. But before you do that, I'm gonna share with you my creamy cucumber and dill salad, my colorful black bean and corn salad, and then finally, and this is the salad I've been most recently addicted to, is my minted green lentil salad with spinach, grapes, and avocado. So let's start with our creamy cucumber and dill salad. Now, all I have here is one large cucumber, and the first thing I do is I like to peel it every other peel, right? So it kind of looks like stripes around the cucumber. This not only looks pretty, but it makes it a little bit more tender when you're eating the cucumber. Then I just trim off the ends and slice the cucumber down the middle lengthwise. Now, we have to get the seeds out of the cucumber because we want the salad to be nice and rich and creamy, and those seeds hold a lot of water. So if we don't take the seeds out, we're gonna end up with a watery salad. So just grab a spoon and I just scoop them out just like this. Then I just give them a nice thin slice and they're ready to go. FYI guys, if you wanted to skip that seed removal altogether, you could buy yourself an English cucumber, which is already seedless, and you would save yourself a step. So here in my bowl, I've got my cucumbers, and to that I am adding a thinly sliced white onion that I cut into quarter moons. Two tablespoons of fresh chopped dill, then I'm sprinkling in a half of a teaspoon of salt, and a quarter cup of Greek yogurt. Now I'm using a 2% Greek yogurt, but you could do full fat or non-fat depending on your personal preferences. Then I'm just gonna stir all of this together, and this simple, light, fresh, refreshing, creamy cucumber dill salad is all ready to go. This salad is great as a side dish for some beautiful grilled salmon, or even as a topping on top of your favorite turkey burger. Next up, I have my colorful corn and black bean salad. So I start off with one 15 ounce can of black beans that I've drained and rinsed into my bowl along with one heaping cup of fresh corn kernels. That came from two ears of corn. Now, you could use frozen corn in a pinch, but you're not gonna get that same fresh popping texture that you get from the fresh corn, but if you absolutely had to, you could make the frozen work. A third of a cup of diced red onion, one chopped up bell pepper. I chose orange just for the bright color, but really any bell pepper would do. A third of a cup of chopped up cherry tomatoes, quarter cup of chopped cilantro. If you don't like cilantro, you could do parsley. One clove of crushed garlic, two tablespoons of fresh lime juice, a tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil, and a little bit of salt and pepper to taste. Then I'm just gonna toss this all together till all those flavors mix and mingle, and this salad is ready to go. If you really wanted to bring the salad to the next level, you could also add in some fresh chopped avocado when you're ready to serve it. And this salad is delicious with some grilled chicken uh, as a side dish to a barbecue or even used as a salsa. And for my final salad, and this flavor combination, guys, is insane, I've got the minted green lentil salad with grapes, spinach, and avocado. So the first thing I start off with here is two and a half cups of cooked green lentils. You could also use brown lentils, but you definitely cannot use 
red lentils because the red lentils are the ones that get really mushy when you cook them up and we want a nice al dente lentil for the salad now oftentimes you can buy lentils pre-made i know they sell them like that at trader joe's otherwise you could just cook them up yourself it's one part lentils to two cups water and you're just going to cook them until they've absorbed the water you could drain off anything that's left over just like you would pasta then to the lentils i am adding one heaping cup of chopped up baby spinach a third of a cup of chopped up scallions one cup of green grapes that I've cut into quarters, one chopped up avocado, a quarter cup of fresh chopped mint, and three tablespoons of roasted and salted chopped up pistachios. I buy them that way, that's the easiest way to do it. Also, they're a lot cheaper if you buy them all broken up already. Then I have two tablespoons of fresh lemon juice and a little bit of salt and pepper to taste. Then I'm just gonna stir all this together until I've got all of these ingredients combined. Now you'll notice I didn't add any olive oil to this dish because I find that that avocado starts to mush up a bit. It creates a nice creamy fatty um, mouthfeel in the salad. But if you wanted a little extra richness, a tablespoon or two of extra virgin olive oil would be delightful. Now this lentil salad makes a great side dish to any barbecue, cookout, or picnic, but it also makes a great weekday lunch. So if you guys were doing some weekend meal prep, you could add this to your menu and you could have little jars of pre-made lentil salad ready to go when you are. Now, if you guys like these recipes, go ahead and give me a big thumbs up so I can be sure that I am making the types of recipes that you want to see. And then head on over to Alicia's channel, Mind Over Munch, so you can see all of the delicious recipes that she's made for you as well. And while you're there, subscribe. And if you haven't subscribed here yet, you can go ahead and do that as well. Now, if you guys want to print any of these recipes, remember you can do that over at cleananddelicious.com. And if you're looking for more inspiration throughout your week, you can follow me on Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, and Instagram. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'm Danny Spees. I'll see you back here soon with some more clean and deliciousness. Cheers. Hey guys, it's Danny. Boom. So make sure you guys go over and pop. Boop. So here in our bowl, boop summer simple salads it's a tongue twister don't judge me all week long ready for you what the boop what was that boom pop boop boop